Legend tells that in an isolated region of the Scottish Highlands, the story was told of a magical clearing in the heart of the forest where strawberries grew in abundance, even when they could not be found elsewhere. The local people always avoided the clearing at night, for they said it was the meeting place of the fairies. One night, a young girl named Ailey, moved by curiosity and wanting to see the strawberries in the moonlight, ventured into the clearing. To her surprise, she found a group of fairies dancing and playing in the middle of the strawberries. The fairies' ethereal lights illuminated the strawberries, giving them a mystical glow. One of the fairies, noticing Ailey's presence, approached and offered her a strawberry. Ailey, captivated by the beauty and aroma of the fruit, could not resist and ate it. As she did so, she began to feel light and happy, and soon found herself dancing with the fairies, laughing and playing all night long. With the first light of dawn, the fairies disappeared, leaving Ailey alone in the clearing. But something had changed, Ailey could no longer leave the clearing. The strawberries had bound her to this magical place. Since that day, the villagers tell that every night, in that special clearing, a beautiful young girl dances among the strawberries waiting for her fairy friends. And they always warn young adventurers never to eat the strawberries in the clearing under the moonlight. Or they too will be enchanted by the magic of the fairies. Now, imagine a field, bright with red dots amidst a sea of green. Those scarlet jewels are strawberries, and although they are often seen in desserts and salads, they hide scientific mysteries worthy of exploration. Since childhood, many of us have delighted in the sweet taste of strawberries. But did you know that technically they are not true fruits? Welcome Plantastics to this new botanical adventure. Check out these fascinating facts about strawberries. What really is a strawberry? Although they are often classified as fruits, strawberries are actually floral receptacles. The little seeds on the surface are the actual fruits, yes, those little yellow dots are the fruits themselves. But what family are they from? Strawberries belong to the botanical family Rosacea, the same family to which roses belong. So, in a sense, you're eating a distant relative of roses every time you dip into a bowl of strawberries. And what is its origin? The origin of the cultivated strawberry we enjoy today is a transcontinental love story. Modern varieties come from the blending of North and South American species, merging in European gardens in the 18th century. Let's talk a little about the plant. Strawberries grow in a rosette pattern low to the ground. They have trifoliate leaves with a toothed margin. Their flowers, usually white, are a feast for the eyes before they turn into the delicious fruit. Strawberries are a source of a substance called ellagic acid, which has anti-cancer properties, another reason to love them even more. Despite their sweetness, strawberries are low in calories and rich in vitamins, minerals and antioxidants. So, it's an indulgence you can feel good about dipping into. Strawberries also have anti-inflammatory properties. Studies have shown that eating strawberries can help reduce markers of inflammation in the body. And here comes a trick. Did you know that if you soak strawberries in water with a little vinegar before storing them, they will stay fresh for longer? That way, that special strawberry dessert you have in mind can wait an extra day. But strawberries are not just for desserts. Imagine a fresh salad of spinach, walnuts, vegan cheese and, yes, strawberries. The contrast of sweet and salty can elevate your culinary experience to another level. Although strawberries and chocolate have rich histories on their own. It wasn't until the European banquets of the 17th century that these two flavors collided. Creating a culinary romance that endures to this day. For the more daring, you might want to try strawberry ice cream with black pepper. Although it sounds daring, 
This combination enhances the sweetness of the strawberry with the spiciness of the pepper, offering a completely unexpected flavor journey. Why are strawberries red? Strawberries owe their bright red color to compounds called anthocyanins. These molecules not only provide color, but are also powerful antioxidants. So when you eat strawberries, you're drinking a health cocktail. Have you ever had a garden or a vegetable garden at home? If so, you'll know that it's important not to grow the same plant in the same place year after year to maintain the health of the soil. It's a similar story with strawberries. Despite being perennials, farmers often practice crop rotation with strawberries to prevent diseases and pests. This means that after a few years of growing strawberries in a field, they switch to a completely different crop, such as maize or wheat, to give the soil a break from strawberries. Did you know that strawberries have a fascinating way of multiplying? Strawberry plants send out long, creeping stems called stolons. These stolons, when they touch the ground, can develop roots and give rise to a new plant, it's as if strawberries have their own natural cloning system. So, if you have a strawberry plant in your garden and you see these creeping stems, it is trying to expand its territory. You may think that strawberries only grow in cool climates. But would it surprise you to know that there are varieties adapted to almost every climate? From the cold mountains to the hottest areas, growers have developed techniques and selected specific varieties so that we can enjoy these delicacies in many parts of the world. If you live in a tropical area, the strawberries you eat are likely to be of a day-neutral variety, which does not require long hours of light or cold to produce fruit. Do strawberries have a natural GPS? Strawberries have photoreceptors that allow them to detect light and adjust their growth. Thanks to this natural GPS, strawberries know when how to grow towards the light to get the maximum energy from the sun. Did you know that strawberries are perennial plants? Although they are commonly replanted every year, strawberries are perennial and can produce fruit for several years. Let's talk about the aroma of strawberries. Strawberries emit a seductive aroma, which is a combination of several volatile compounds. This aroma not only attracts humans, but is also a signal for pollinators. Strawberries have around 360 different molecules that contribute to their unique and delicious aroma. What is the relationship of strawberries to heavy metal? Surprisingly, strawberries have the ability to accumulate heavy metals from the soil. But don't worry. In safely cultivated areas, this does not pose a health risk. Are all strawberries the same? There are more than 600 varieties of strawberries, each with its own unique taste, size and shape. We hope you enjoyed these fun facts about the wonderful strawberries. Keep exploring. Stay curious, and remember, there is always more to learn in the green mysteries of our world. Thanks for joining us Plantastics. Be sure to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe to our channel, so you do not miss any video. See you in the next episode.